Hello everyone, Flash Knight here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to complete the final battle and earn yourself the crown of courage. Sadly, when this video comes out, we can no longer get the golden crown. Before you start the final battle, you need to equip all three instruments and the secret power pack. Afterwards, make your way over to the outside buildings and take a right. Walk over to this subway door and wait a few seconds until it opens. Once you're inside, go to this robot and fill up your power pack. Afterwards, go inside the train and power the train. Once this cutscene ends, wait until Sabrina stops talking and you'll see numbers on these machines off in the distance. So there you can see it, mine is 59 and 33 and type it into this keypad here and then after access is granted, run to the back of the train and you're going to find a keycard on the ground. Pick up the keycard and make your way to the front of the train slowly and then open this door here. Afterwards, you have to override this computer by matching the lines and dots with the lines and dots above you. After it's over it, the rails will change and you'll go a different direction instead of going straight into acid and make your way on top of this train here and just wait a little. Once you make your way through this gate, look to your right and you want to jump onto this platform and you'll make your way to the second area. Go to where I go and pick up these power boxes and then press F to control this little robot. If you click on the mouse, the robot can break these boxes. Afterwards, parkour to this area and you're going to need to control another robot. Follow what I do. Once you break those two boxes, you're going to have to make your way to another area. These robots are going to shoot at you, so dodge them really fast. And there's going to be more parkour. These conveyor belts are going to try to push you off and just keep jumping and dashing forward. Once you make your way to this area, make your way to this power up thing and it's going to refill all your power. Use that power to fly up with the dasher by pressing shift and make your way to this turret. You're going to need to override it the same way you override the one before. Once it's overrid, this turret will shoot this big robot and break it. After the robot's broken, fly over and make your way where I go. For this area, you're going to want to climb the walls until you reach a ladder which will lead to the next room. Alright, make your way to this little area where there's going to be a big red gas. Go into the red gas and there's going to be a room with a bunch of lights going everywhere. To survive this room, you're going to want to walk around the lights and make your way to the other side slowly. Once you do that, override this computer and a keys will appear. You're going to have to go back and forth and collect all four keys while dodging the lights and once that happens, this room will open to an elevator. Go inside the elevator.
Now you're in Netpunk Factory. If you know the Portal games, this place is similar hey, to it. We're doing okay. I think we may be getting close to finding each other. Don't give up. This turret looking thing is a portal gun. It shoots two portals and each portal teleports to each other. This part is long, so I'll probably only explain the hard bits. Other than that, just copy what I do. At this part, you have to control this robot shooting at you and use it to destroy the other one. You have to collect the tiny robots here to complete lots of the puzzles in this area. At this stage, you need multiple mini robots, so I took four of them.
press the buttons here to control the numbered blocks on the other side of the glass. This area is a little weird because it tricks you into thinking you have to complete this weird puzzle, but actually you have to collect a mini robot from over the balcony.
Now jump through this dark hole and you'll be teleported to the next stage. Once you spawn in, make sure to stand on top of this checkpoint so if you die you can respawn back here. At this stage you have to parkour your way across this area until you reach the other side where you're gonna find a red button. Follow what I do to make my way across to the button. Once you get up here, press this button and wait till the cutscene ends. Afterwards, there's gonna be another checkpoint and also another button in front of it. Press this button and you will have to play some mini games. The first mini game is Lava Escape. Watch what I do to complete this. If you successfully complete Lava Escape, the next mini game will be Target Town. It doesn't really matter if you win this round or not because afterwards there will be a battle back. But for this game, shoot the golden target for 5 points, the blue one for 3 points and the red one for only 1 point. Also, if you shoot Creek or Tanker on the other side, they lose 1 point, but if they shoot you, you lose 5 points. If you lose the Target Town minigame, you'll verse Dennis in Simulator Scrimmage. This is probably the easiest minigame to complete. Go around the map and collect coins. Use those coins to open eggs. Pets hatch out of those eggs and give you multipliers. The person with the most coins at the end wins.
After that, you would have reached the final mini game, the Battle Crag. For this mini game, you have to press six buttons around the map, and after that, press the button at the top of the mountain. Watch out for traps around the map. Follow where I go to find all the buttons. Once you beat all the mini games, go to the white door in front of you and you'll be teleported to an island. Go around the map and collect power pack fuel. You're going to need this fuel to control the crab robot on top of the island. To activate the robot, you need to find three crystals around the map. One is in the waterfall, another is next to the crab, and one is hidden in a plant. After the crab is activated, use it to go into the water. Look around the water for shiny particles and dig around them. Eventually, you'll dig out a key card. Once you find it, bring the crab out of the water and grab the key card from its hand. Use the key card on a secret vault behind the waterfall. Once you get teleported to this area, you have to go into this vent. Be careful because there's a monster wandering around. To find the exit, my tip is to always walk to the left because then you'll eventually find it. Once you find this long hallway, keep walking down it until you find another vent. Once you go down the vent, walk up to this door and it will automatically use the keycard on it. Go into this elevator and wait till it ends. Afterwards, go around the map and collect energy for the power pack. Pick on someone, your own. Now run towards the robot and follow where I go.
Once you've gotten here, go into the robot to control it. Control the robot and fly out. Now you're gonna have to use the robot to keep punching the big robot. Once you damage the big robot low enough, you will enter the next part of the match. For this part, bombs are going to be thrown at you. You're going to want to click and knock the bombs back at the force field. Once you damage the force field enough, jump back onto the vehicle. Now you're going to have to attack this guy until he's dead. Once you get the boss low enough, he'll fly away and then just wait until the vehicle drives off the edge. Then afterwards, wait till the cutscene ends. You can talk to Jay Party or you could just go straight to the door, but open this door. Once you open it, walk up the staircase and walk into this orb thing and then you'll get the badge. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!